Keep in mind that we're talking about switches here, not routers. A router is required for connecting from one network to another, for example, connecting your home or business to the internet. In these reviews, you'll learn the ins and outs of each product. Now, without any further ado, let's get started with the video. Number 1. TP-Link 5 Port Gigabit Ethernet Network Switch The TP-Link 5 Port Gigabit Ethernet Network Switch is a great choice for homes or small businesses that need to add a few devices to their network. It has a tough metal case, so you don't have to worry about it getting knocked off a desk, and it's a gigabit switch, which means it's not going to slow you down. That said, it doesn't provide any network management options. If you're a larger business, or you have an IT person who knows what they're doing, you'll probably want to switch with more settings. Number 2. Netgear 8 Port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged Switch the Netgear GS308 was designed specifically for homeowners. It's plug-and-play and has a 1 megabyte buffer that will make even the most avid gamer happy. The case is tough enough to withstand a drop, and the 8 ports should be sufficient for almost all homes. That said, this device has some drawbacks. It provides no power, so smart home device users will need a beefier switch. It also doesn't allow any network management, which makes it a no-go for most businesses. Number 3. TP-Link TLSG 1005 D5 Port Unmanaged Gigabit Desktop Switch the TP-Link TLSG 1005D is a budget switch for people who need no-frills connectivity at a low price. This is a great for small businesses or for people who want to connect a few more devices in their home. The gigabit speed is fast enough for any modern electronics. The automatic power-saving feature will keep you from wasting money when the switch isn't being used, and the 1 megabyte buffer is enough for most household uses. That said, you're not going to get a ton of other options with this switch. Number 4. TP-Link TLSG 1088 Port Gigabit Unmanaged Ethernet Network Switch The TP-Link 8 Port Gigabit Ethernet Network Switch is a step up from the last two TP-Link switches we reviewed, primarily because it has a network management portal. This sets it above its competitors if only because it's useful for larger businesses, apartment complexes and dorms. It's also useful for small businesses, if only because it supports half-duplex mode. On the downside, it's not the best switch for smart home devices or industrial controllers because it doesn't provide power over Ethernet. It also has limited VLAN support so users who need a high-security switch will probably want something with more options. Number 5. Netgear 8 Port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged Switch The Netgear GS108 will add 8 gigabit ports to your network, no matter what the devices are. It supports old, half-duplex systems as well as cutting-edge devices. Business owners will appreciate the network management options, and everyone loves a lifetime warranty. Catastrophic device failure? No problem. Call Netgear, and they'll fix it. Unfortunately, this switch only has a 128 kilobytes buffer and doesn't provide any power over Ethernet. Companies with large data needs or tons of new wired accessories will want a switch with a larger buffer, at the very least. Number 6. TP-Link 5 Port 10 out of 100 MBPs Fast Ethernet Switch The TP-Link 5 Port Fast Ethernet Switch is the most budget-friendly switch we've looked at. It costs about the same as a small pizza, and offers five fast Ethernet ports to quickly add new devices to your home network. The downside? There are no management options, 
so you won't want to use this switch for a company network. It also doesn't support gigabit ethernet, so gamers and hardcore streamers will also want to buy a faster switch. This is a home network switch. It's not designed for businesses, and it's not suitable for them. Number 7. Netgear 16 Port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged Switch The Netgear 16 Port Gigabit Ethernet Unmanaged Switch was designed specifically for small businesses. It connects as many devices as possible without requiring you to engage in advanced network management or daisy-chaining switches. The price is extremely reasonable for a switch this big. On the other hand, this switch comes with a few limitations. The buffer is very small, only 768 kilobytes. This makes it unsuitable for streaming or gaming or for businesses that require a lot of media transfer. It also doesn't have any network management options, so larger companies will probably want to look elsewhere. For more details, click the link in the description. Thanks for watching the video.